if I'm too smooth, it's like watching this. I'm, you know, going to Carnegie and seeing a musician, and then I can do that right. <laughs> you know, but it's not that bing. So you're just letting the flared part hang in your mouth, and mm -hmm. it comes on down like that. Mm -hmm. and then I fire polish the other end so it's not yeah. sharp. that mouthpiece on there. Ah, so fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your red gas is neon and is the dominant gas. It's so much brighter than any of the other gases. You know, where it's argon mercury, it's not as obvious as the uranium, but the wall thickness shows up. And they're eliminating lead glass in the industry now. The coefficients of expansion, so it doesn't shrink and, and expand much. That's why. Very safety glasses, right? Safety glasses? Uh, they're just. You should be wearing safety glasses. <laughs> but I mean, like for the for the flame or? No, no. It, this is a soft enough flame. You don't need didium. Yes, no problem with this. With soda, and uh, soda gives off a little flare. And, and borosilicate glass, the Pyrex, will really give off a flare where you can't even see it unless you're wearing your glasses. They'll heat up the back side or the outside of the vent a little more, and then come straight up. But any kind of mold blowing, weird, oddball stuff, they usually come to me. Turning, I'm making sure one hand isn't turning faster than the other. And I'm slowly kind of pushing it together. You can see it's building up a thickness there. Even a turning all the time, otherwise it just drops. Christmas! <laughs>